When it comes to setting up a combined miter saw, many people take it granted that as it comes out of the box, it's good to go. Incorrect. In this video, I'll show you how the adjustment mechanism works, and in the next video, I'll show you how to make the actual fine adjustments to fine tune your compound miter saw. First, I want to show you before we look at the saw the cut you can make with a compound miter saw and how you can verify the correctness of the settings. This one on the right was made after the angles are and the uh, angles and the stops are set correctly and this frame here was made before. This one was made just with the adjust with the settings straight out of the box. On uh, close examination we can see that the corners are gappy. You can see for example that they touch here at the heel and uh, here they taper to a gap. Say it's a 0 to 2 millimeter gap. 0 here, 2 millimeters when it's widest there. Same on this corner. We have the same problem. It tapers from heel to toe, uh, 0 to 2 millimeters on the other frame which was produced after the adjustment you can see that the miter in its entire run is uh, nicely touching from heel to toe there's no unsightly gaps and the same for all four corners there's the second one so before we do the actual adjustments like I said I'm gonna show you on what parts exactly we're going to do these adjustments. This is an unfamiliar view for most of you to look at a compound miter saw because this is taken apart. I took it apart so you can take a look at the adjustment mechanism. Uh, this part of the miter saw is mounted here and rotates here left and right 45 degrees. Alright, the heart of the adjustment mechanism is just come over there a little bit is this piece of block here which has some interesting profile you can see a bolt on the underside of it here and another one on top of it here this one needs a 10 millimeter wrench that's important because this will be accessible when it's assembled and we're gonna need to turn it with this wrench and uh, this bolt here is adjusted with a 3 millimeter allen key or hex key and moves as it advances and, and uh, retracts it moves this bit, bit of uh, metal in front of it so I'm gonna rotate it now so you can see how as it advances this gap here increased and as I retract it the opposite direction there this little block doesn't weigh enough as is but it will follow the uh, and will be tight against the end of the screw it's important to note that this adjustment screw here is metric it's got a pitch of one millimeter this is a six by one screw here and this one has a thread of eight by one point twenty five Consequently, because the si their sizes and therefore their pitches are different, a quarter turn on this advances or retracts the bolt one millimeter, or sorry, one full turn would. So a quarter turn would be a quarter millimeter, but one full turn on this one is a millimeter and a quarter, 1.25 millimeters. So they they don't correspond a one to a one to one ratio. So half a turn or a quarter turn of this is not the same as half a turn or a quarter turn on that one. So keep that in mind. And how this piece of metal works is, just turn a little bit over here and maybe zoom in a bit. You can see at this end of the saw, just bear with me here, that's about a good shot here, with a little bit of a flashlight there this is what you see at this end you can see push rod, two push two push rods 
and two that seem to be fixed. I'm going to retract one of the push rods because that push rod is to a smaller diameter push rod is to engage in this and this position to lock the saw in fixed positions. This one, the bigger one, sorry, shouldn't move the flashlight. This bigger one, which has two stops, and you can see it's got a shoulder on it there. It's got one stop there and one more stop fully fully retracted. Uh, maybe look at this adjustment block this way. When the push rod is uh, fully extended, it hits here and it runs in this groove here. From, from the top of this bolt to the underside of this uh, adjustment block here. And we need to make sure that this distance here is exactly or this uh, angle of turn here is exactly 45 degrees and when it's uh, when this rod is extended uh, one more stop one more stop out it turns an additional 45 degrees to from this position here to the underside of this little block here and we need to make sure that this angle of turn also covers 45 degrees so something like that would be the big picture and uh, when I drop it back into the housing it's a little bit wobbly in it as it should and uh, because uh, tightening and uh, fastening is done uh, in the process of fine-tuning the saw one more thing about these rods at the end here this third one uh, these rods uh, connect to the front. There are two levers at the front. Mm, something like that. You can see the levers in the distance. Say, mm -hmm, something like that. When I operate this lever here, you can see this rod being extended and retracted. And when I operate the uh, turn knob, you can see this push rod retracted and extended okay so that's how this saw works and this one is just here to uh, provide the pivot point so I'm gonna put it together and in the next video you can see the actual adjustments and uh, fine-tuning the compound miter saw